to another episode of Opinionated Trivia. It's been a minute since we've done these cards. Today we have Gabby, our lovely guest, the here to, you know, show her hand in trivia and see if she can, see if she can beat us. Um, it's been a minute, and uh, I don't know if I'm going to do camp. still got my number. I got a one this time. Yeah, I do have your number. Um, yeah, we can't make We can't make her. Okay, so we, someone who ever loses, we can make them very good. Yeah, we got to do something. We got to do something. <laughs> I think today Carlos is gonna take it. Alright, we're gonna see every day. Y'all stay tuned. Alright. Alright, we go. Okay, so first we're gonna start with the bronze questions, and Gabby's gonna go at it first. The first question is in Batman, what number of points must a player score in order to win? I think the is 12. 21. <laughs> My numbers are backwards. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Name the machine that is used to maintain a level ice rink. Oh, Zimba Zim, mm, Zimbabwe, Zim, something, it's with a Z, god damn it, Z. Zimbabwe, that's a country. <laughs> a z, I don't know. A Zamboni. Zamboni, I was saying Zimbabwe, I'm like, it doesn't sound right. What? A level ice rink. A Zamboni. Dude. Dude, I know what that shit's called. No, he doesn't. Yes, I do, bro. I watch like movies of like 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 in Deadpool when that person got killed. Like <laughs> what is it called? Damn. I know what it is, but I don't know what it's called. Fucking roller. Rollers, roller. Dude, I'm about to cuss so much in this. Alright. Is that your final answer? Yeah, sure. <laughs> it's a Zamboni. Alright. How many inches in the diameter of a hockey puck? Or is the di diameter of a hockey puck? Inches? Yeah. Is that like the bottom? <laughs> like? The whole thing? Yeah. Oh. for a Stanley Cup? Uh, hockey. Cool, that one's right. Hockey. Okay. Imagine, hockey. What song is traditionally sung by baseball fans during the seventh inning Sweet stretch? Sweet Caroline? For Red Sox at Sweet Caroline? Oh, take me out to the ballgame? Yeah. Okay, Red Sox way, Sweet Caroline. <laughs> really? That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Like they also, well, they also sing um, Sweet Caroline. Dude, that's what she said. Yeah. Take me out to the ball game. What is the average lifespan of a Major League Baseball in pitches? What does that mean? I, 
guess how long does a baseball like last? Like how many? Oh, ah, uh, a thousand. Seven, seven pitches. Wait, like the life of a baseball? Yeah. Really? That's what it says. Then they have to switch them out. I guess. That's what it says. Alright, we're really wrong. <laughs> Seven pitches. Seven? Yeah. It's really one. <laughs> Lifespan. I guess like how often they rotate them. So I, I, like, I, I just, I feel like, I feel like I know, but like, I don't know like where to answer this is. Or answer that. Or how to answer that. Average lifespan. First, yeah, I don't watch that, but like 1940. <laughs> 2003. <laughs> How many Masters titles did the legendary golf player Jack Nicholas win? Four. Six. See, I need just basketball, football. <laughs> Hopefully, some sport. come up on this one. Yeah. True. 
And then the last one for silver is in a Major League Baseball, the bases, or wait, in Major League Baseball, the bases are 90 feet apart. How far apart are they in, li in the Little League World Series? Major League, they're 90. They're 90 feet apart in Major Leagues. And 25. 60 feet. ones. Great. <laughs> How many Wimble Wimbledon titles do brothers Andy and Jamie Murray hold between them? Is that tennis? Yes. Three? Four. Four. I was gonna say four. <laughs> I'm sure. Two. Duh. Andy Murray's legit. Yeah. Yeah. How many Jamie Murray's Andy has two singles and Jamie two mixed doubles. This game sucks. I don't watch tennis. Oh my god, I scored 14. Four. Oh. <laughs> I'm making myself so real stupid. <laughs> Which goalie earned the nickname Mr. Zero? I don't know. I just got into soccer. Messi, I'm kidding. I'm just going to Frank Brimsek. Interesting. Noted. I'm learning. I'm not losing, I'm learning. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I don't even know a bully name. A fucking Wayne Gretzky. Frank Brimsek. Ooh, duh. And it doesn't specify, like, do you hockey or... Oh, uh, I think I thought immediately soccer. Soccer, yeah. Yeah, hockey. yeah he said hockey, I so and I didn't think of it like that, but yeah. I don't know that at all. Frank Brimsek. How many gold medals did Jesse Owens win at the 1936 Berlin Olympics? I don't know who that is, and I don't know what sport that's in. I'm going to just say three, four, six. Is that your final answer? Yeah. Four. Damn! <laughs> I wanted to say four again! Uh. That's the trip one, right? Five? It's gonna be like four. Oh, I am good, dude! <laughs> to own a Super Bowl ring and an Academy Award. Oh, this is interesting. An Academy Award? And an Academy Award. A Super Bowl ring and an Academy Award? I don't know. Is Academy movies? But I don't know who. I know, I've been seeing, I see Gronkowski in some shows and stuff. <laughs> He's got a couple of Super Bowl rings. Peyton Manning, I don't think he acts. Is it hard? Is it like way out there? I don't know. I'm just gonna say Peyton Manning. He deserves an Academy Award for Peyton's <laughs> places. <laughs> Tish. Nah. I don't even know who that is. Okay, I don't either. Cam's gonna know this one. <laughs> Super Bowl ring and Academy Award? Correct. I 
Academy Award do you have to be in a movie? I think so. The only player that I know has been in a movie is Dan Marino. He's been fucking Ace Ventura. Uh, at least I'm miserable, so there's that. Um, as a player? Dude, I don't even know who this person is. What it says, who is the only person to own a Super Bowl ring and an account? Own a Super So that's different. They didn't even have to win it. They just own it. Because you can buy it. Dude. Vince Papali. Steve Tisch. Steve Tisch. That's got to be someone that looks good. That'd be John Hayden. He said, oh. Oh, oh. Dude, yeah, maybe we still have to get it. He's not gonna get it. Who the f? That's some like Leonardo DiCaprio <laughs> shit. Steve Tisch. Alright, whatever. Alright, last one for the goal cards. <laughs> How many lanes are there on an Olympic athletics track? I wanna say eight. Eight, eight is right. Okay. Come back. <laughs> eight. Correct. How many rings? How many lanes? Nine. The answer is eight. That's not. It's nine. There's nine rings. There's nine lanes on a track. We can pull that shit up. Bro, it says eight. Bro, that's. Hold on. We're pulling that up. Well, there's nine up. lanes. Yeah, there's you got there's nine thing. lanes on a track. There you go. Bro. That's not even true. Bro, there's not lanes of track. There's not lanes on a track. Bro, look, track. I'm just telling you what the card says, okay? <laughs> don't I don't make the rules. I'm dead. Who is the only player to have won the Super Bowl MVP award as a member of the losing team? Aaron Rodgers. Chuck Howley. Oh, no. Aaron Rodgers has only won. Okay, that's so stupid. Aaron Rodgers won the Super Bowl, but he wins MVPs when he doesn't play in the Super Bowl, unfortunately. <laughs> Repeat it, it's not me. Austin, you want an MVP? That has to be like someone older. <laughs> it has to be a quarterback, too. Like John Elway, Dan Marino, someone who's never won. The Bills quarterback, what was his name? So like four and lost all four. Dude. Dude. Right, like, I can't remember his name either. That's like the quote unquote best quarterback to like never well, I guess he never won some Super Bowl, so I can't beat him very much. I don't think he did. Dude, what is the guy's name for the Bills? I can't remember his name. Oh, you're not. Yeah, I'm not getting it. Never mind. I thought he should have got it, but he didn't. Uh, I don't know that. 
Chuck Howley. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, well, you already know the one. Like, how do you get lucky, guys? So I don't understand. understand. It's like clockwork. I do my education. I don't understand. Right. You, can right, you I'm just lucky. admit that you get lucky? Can no. you just admit it? I, the only one I did get lucky one was the badminton one. That was, but everything else I had a general idea of what I was guessing. But you still have to guess. That's a luck. That's <laughs> and, 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 we, and we narrowed it down. The one try, hey, anything they try to do to make me not win, it doesn't work. I don't know. You got you like, get lucky. You. you got lucky on the Little League and you got lucky on the Hockey Puck. Bro, you just lost it. Yes, I did lose. Okay. Uh, it's not losing, it's lessons, guys. And Gabby did go too for her first try. She she got got in. I don't even know what badminton is. It's where they. It's, it's, it's like the thing is what has like 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I knew the only reason I knew that one's because it's similar to Bullet Ball. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same. Well, that number just makes sense. It's like, well, yeah. it just works. Well, you know, so but yeah, thank you guys again for tuning into yeah. another episode of Opinionated Trivia. Does this count? Like, am I down 3 1 now? Yeah, it's still 2 1. Does it feel like it's 2 in the name of Sandy? Look at him trying to change. Like, if you would have won, you'd be like, oh, I'm up 3 1. Or I'm up 2 2. It's 2 2. No, it's 3 1. I think it's 2 1. So, yeah, Carl's lost, and uh, I mean, he should just stop playing. But at this point, but anyways. We'll catch you guys next time. Thank you, Gabby, again for yeah. being a, a great guest today. And, uh, mm-hmm. Would you, you and Victoria come play? Oh, heck yeah. We're she would. She would. She would. She would. She would. We'd have to do she would know that. We'd have to do that. Obviously, that's like, you versus that. No. Oh, no. hell no, yeah. No, no, no. Like, I do, like, I get her or Victoria and vice versa. Oh. Like, 